In salt leaves, in addition to sodium, potassium, lithium, magnesium, all resources, there are sodium, iron resources. For the recovery of sodium, iron from brine absorption is a suitable measure. When we use magnesium chloride to produce magnesium metal, magnesium hydroxide, magnesium oxide, and so on. Bowel rot is a harmful impurity. In order to remove trace bowel rot from magnesium chloride solution, absorption is a practical measure. Basic consideration for adsorbent hydration. An adsorbent is a solid material that attracts other substances onto its surface. An adsorbent is a substance that has been hard to be attracted on the surface. For example, when we use an organic carbon to remove an organic gluten from aqueous solution. The activated carbon is the adsorbent, and the organic gluten is the adsorbent. When we prepare an adsorbent, the specific adsorbent, what should we consider? We should consider that size of the adsorbent molecules or ions. We should consider the physical chemical properties of the adsorbent based on CV effect and the interaction between adsorbent and the adsorbent. We can define and prepare an adsorbent with a suitable process distribution and a suitable functional groups. Using the paint absorbent, we can do some experiments about absorption dynamics and absorption thermodynamics. From the experimental results, we can analyze the absorption mechanism. See the effect and the interactions are expected to be important for the adsorption. Let's design and do some experiments to check. Four prepared gels and three organic dyes were used for the experiment. This figure shows the experimental results. The modified gel with the largest pore size has the highest adsorption amount. The adsorption capacity increases as the hydrophobicity of the pore size of the gel increases. Combine the effect of both the increased hydrophobicity and the pore size is required to significantly improve the adsorption capacity of the gel. We have another process to demonstrate or confirm the importance of the CV effect and the interaction. This process is controlled release. The results of controlled release also demonstrate the importance of the CV effect and the interaction. Release can be controlled by adjusting power size of the circuit. Release can also be controlled by manipulating the force between the active ingredient and the substrate. Seal effect 
it's easy to understand. However, the interactions between absorbers and absorbers are complicated. Generally speaking, interaction between absorbers and absorbers include electrostatic interactions, age bonding, hydrophobic interaction, complexation, precipitation, and so on. And let's first see electrostatic interaction. When the absorption of an organic dye by organocytic functionalized magnetic carbon particles, electrostatic attraction was found to be very important for the absorption. In weakly acidic solution, as shown in figure B, the organic dye is absorbed due to electrostatic attraction and hydrophobic attraction. In basic solution, as shown in figure C, the absorption is suppressed due to electrostatic repulsion. Another example to show the importance of electrostatic attraction. For the absorption of an organic dye, green blue FCF, by modified and unmodified submicron acidic particles, organic dye absorption can be greatly enhanced by acid binding particles to fully protonate the surface signal and amine groups due to a strong electrostatic attraction between dye anions and the positive charge particle surface. How about air bonding? Here, air bonding includes special types of air bonding, such as ionic air bonding. In aqueous solutions, hydrogen bonding often exists between absorbents and absorbents. For example, the above organic dye absorption. For the absorption of small molecules or ions, hydrogen bonding is usually not required to act an important absorption mechanism. Hydrophobic interaction. When the absorbent surface and the absorbent are amphiphilic or hydrophobic, hydrophobic attraction would be an important absorption mechanism. Complexation. For the absorption of boric acid by polyhydroxyl functionalized absorbents, complexation is a very effective absorption mechanism. The absorption capacity is high and the absorption selectivity is good. For the absorption of some metal ions, complexation was also found to be an effective absorption mechanism. Precipitation. For the absorption of iron ion by composite absorbance, precipitation was found to be an effective mechanism. Among the above interaction mechanisms, which one is more uh, which one is more effective? Let's do some experiments to have a comparison. Three adsorbents were used for the comparison. Boric acid was used as the adsorbent. We prepared a gel having amino groups and a gel having polyhydroxyl groups. A commercial resin with polyhydroxyl groups also used for comparison. The absorption amount of the commercial resin with polyhydroxyl groups and the polyhydroxyl functionalized gel is much higher than that of the aminopropyl functionalized gel. CR and TG absorb boric acid through the complexation between 
the polyhydroxyl groups and boric acid, AG absorbs boric acid through electrostatic attraction. Here, colonization was found to be a more effective mechanism than electrostatic attraction. Effect of solution catch on the interaction. First batch absorption experiments, solution catch average genes, temperature, stirring speed, relative amount of absorbent and solution are the main parameters we need to consider. Among these parameters, pH and average genes are more effective for the adjustment of the interaction between adsorbent and adsorbent. <coughs> Effect of pH on electrostatic interaction. By adjusting solution pH, we can change the surface charge of adsorbent and adsorbent, and therefore regulate the electrostatic interaction according to the point of zero charge of the adsorbent and the charge of the adsorbent. We can predict the electrostatic interaction between the adsorbent and the adsorbent. Effect of solution catch on hydrophobic interaction. Some adsorbents have a weakly acid or weakly alkaline surface functional groups. And some adsorbents are also weakly acidic or weakly basic in nature. By adjusting solution catch, we can change the charge of the functional groups of the absorbent and the charge of the absorbent, <coughs> resulting their hydration, regulating their hydration zero, and thus changing the hydrophobic interaction between the absorbent and the absorbent. The uh, effect of pH on complexation. By adjusting solution pH, we can change the dissociation of adsorbent. We can also change the dissociation of the adsorbent functional groups. The effect of solution catch on precipitation. It depends on why there's a precipitation reaction in the adsorption size. Is it affected by solution catch or not? The effect of ionic students on the interaction. From the above features, we can see that the influence of ionic students on adsorption is complicated. The equilibrium adsorption amount was found to increase, decrease, or remain almost unchanged in different cases. The effect of iron strings on adsorbent. Change the thickness of the electric bubble layer on adsorbent surface. Iron strings may change the aggregation degree of the adsorbent particles and may change the process of polymer adsorbent. The effect of iron strings on adsorbent. I did errors compute this adsorbed error through iron exchange. Added errors may have sorting out or sorting in effect on the adsorbed and may form iron pairs with adsorbed errors. Iron exchange may change the size of macromolecular <coughs> adsorbents. The effect of iron strings on electrostatic and hydrophobic interactions. The question is, what is the relationship between iron strings and electrostatic interaction? What is the relationship between iron strings and hydrophobic interaction? Let's design and do some experiments. <coughs> to get some elementary results. Nine groups of combined batch adsorption experiments were carried out using three resins with a single matrix and a different charge. 
and three bags with different cups for us to use. There are two experiments in each group. In one experiment, a solution with sodium chloride was used, while in the other experiment, a solution without sodium chloride was used for comparison. This is a comparative experimental result. We analyze the interaction between the organic dye and the absorbents in all the cases. The experimental results and the interactions are summarized in this table. For the absorption using neutral resin, which can exert only hydrophobic attraction on the bags, the absorption is enhanced by the addition of sodium chloride, demonstrating that the hydrophobic attraction increases with increasing iron strength. <laughs> Another elementary experimental result. With increasing iron strength, more sodium and chloride ions can secrete the charged sites of the absorbents and compete with the bias through iron exchange, leading to a surprise of the electrostatic interaction. Please note, with increasing iron exchange, there is a reduction in both electrostatic attraction and electrostatic repulsion. One of the elementary experimental results is hydrophobic attraction increases with increasing iron strength. Let's try to explain this elementary result. Between water and amphibolic or hydrophobic absorbent, there's no repulsion force. In fact, there is attractive intermolecular forces which may include a bonding. However, the intermolecular forces between water and the absorbent, <coughs> between absorbent molecules or ions, and between the absorbent and the absorbent, is usually smaller, even much smaller, than that between water molecules. And therefore, the absorbent tend to be excluded <coughs> from water, resulting in the hydrophobic phenomenon. Let's add a thought into the above absorption system to see what happens. When a salt, for example, sodium chloride, is added into the solution to increase iron exchange, the added arrows act as a binder to enhance the interactions among water molecules through iron hydration and carrying and so on to exert a stronger rejection to the absorbent, leading to an apparent increase in hydrophobic attraction between the absorbent and the absorbent. Another elementary experimental result Electrostatic <coughs> interaction decreases with increasing iron strength. When there is no other salt coexisting in solution, there is a secret electrical double layer, and no other ions compete with the absorbent iron. The electrostatic attraction between the absorbent and the absorbent is stronger. Now, let's add a salt into the above absorption system to see what happens. When a salt, for example, sodium chloride, is added into the solution, the above absorption system, there are more amine to balance the surface of the charge on the absorption surface. And the electrical double layer is surprised. The added ions can compete with the absorbed ion through iron exchange, 
result in an apparent decrease in the electrostatic attraction between the result and the result. The effect of iron strength on precipitation. But the absorption of air dye by silver chloride compensates gel absorption through precipitation reaction. Ionic strength has almost no effect on the absorption. Summary. Based on comprehensive analysis of the size and the physical <coughs> chemical properties of the absorbing molecules or errors, as well as the absorption separation system, absorbance with a good performance can be prepared by regulating process and introducing functional groups. The interaction between absorbance and absorbance include electrostatic interaction, edge bonding, hydrophobic interactions, complexation, <coughs> precipitation, complexation, and <coughs> oh, sorry, uh, hydrophobic interaction, complexation, precipitation, and so on. Complexation and precipitation are more effective mechanisms for us to prepare absorbance with a high absorption capacity and a good absorption selectivity. Adjusting solution pH and iron strength is an effective measure to improve absorption, especially when electrostatic and hydrophobic interactions are main absorption mechanism. With the increase in iron strength, the hydrophobic interactions between absorbents and absorbents increase, while the electrostatic interaction decrease. We thank the National Natural Science Foundation of China and the Academy's Program of Chinese Academy of Sciences, Knowledge Innovation Project of Chinese Academy of Sciences, Natural Science Foundation of Qinghai Province for financial support. I thank my colleagues and graduate students in my room for their hard working and cooperation. To low solution chemistry. Let's low solution chemistry fire. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much for the compliments. Next, please. Please wait for the microphone. Uh, it's very nice uh, lecture and it impressed me very much. Uh, so I have a short uh, question. Uh, uh, as you mentioned that the size of the absorbate absor can be changed uh, uh, on the different uh, ionic strengths. So uh, can you, uh, uh, can we calculate the size uh, on the different uh, ionic strengths? Uh, how, do, uh, I mean that how can we calculate the uh, value of the Absorbate size on the different ionic strengths. Oh, uh, there are some commercial uh, program to uh, for us to catalyze uh, the size of our molecules, our ions. We can also make a comparison. Uh, if we know uh, the size of a, a familiar molecules or ions, uh, we can make a, a comparison to speculate the size of these uh, molecules. And here, our absorption mainly deal with small molecules or ions. And for small molecules or ions, their size uh, usually, uh, the effect does not change obviously. For some natural molecular molecules, biomolecular molecules, uh, especially in solution with a high ion strength, uh, their size may be changed 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next, Glenn. Thank you very much for a very interesting <coughs> talk. Um, you've given us a very comprehensive overview of the absorption, uh, but in any industrial process, usually you uh, want to not only absorb, but you want to desorb. Mm. Uh, and uh, I'm wondering if you've looked at the uh, desorption processes uh, in the same way. Okay. This is a very good question. Theoretically, absorption is easy to take place. Unfortunately, for some practical industrial process, desorption is really, really a practical problem. For example, the absorption of lithium from solid brine. The absorption performance is relatively good. Unfortunately, the desorption is not <coughs> so easy. We use a lot of water to dissolve lithium from the, from the absorbent. After absorption, the lithium solution concentration is low. Uh, in order to get lithium products, we need to concentrate the lithium solution after dissolution. This is really a practical <coughs> problem. Theoret theoretically speaking, there are not so many difficult products for absorption. Unfortunately, in practical industrial process, there are really some practical difficult for us to deal with. Thank you for your question. Okay, next. Thank you very much for the next talk. Uh, one of your last slides, you shown uh, beads with silver chloride. And I'm just wondering how pH stable is the system, because under practical conditions, you have a quite wide range of possible pHs, and sometimes GLs are pH sensitive. Uh, excuse me, uh, which pH of that? Uh, so did, did you study, have you studied the, the pH dependence of this, of this process? Uh, pH, pH dependence, uh, it depends on what? pH, 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 pH yes. of uh, the effect of pH on um, the absorption of the yeah. desorption. It totally depends on the nature of the interaction between absorbent and absorbent. Uh, based on our experiment results, complexation and precipitation are really effective for absorption in many cases because of especially precipitation reaction, precipitation mechanism. Because some precipitation reaction is not affected by solution cash. And for example, the precipitation transfer reaction uh, from seaward product to seaward ion. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm not sure if my answer. <laughs> okay, any other questions or comments? Okay, just wait for the other one. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for your very interesting presentation. And in one of your slides, you compare three kinds of adsorbents. Three, three kinds of oh. adsorbents you okay. compare. And okay. you said uh, polyhydroxyl adsorbent is uh, more suitable for manufacture. Polyhydroxyl adsorbents. Okay. More suitable for manufacture. Did you use this stability? How many, uh, how many cycles it can be used to absorb? How oh, many cycles? Oh, yeah. Um, generally speaking, silicon gel is a very good substitute for the preparation of common adorbents. Based on silicon substrate, we can prepare large amounts of specific 
adsorbent by surface modification. And first year radical studies, I'm sorry to say, we, we do not carry out many experiments for adsorption, desorption, recycle experiments. Mm -hmm. and, but in practical industrial process, that is really very important. Yes, yes. And for the adsorption, desorption, recycle experiment, generally speaking, silica based adsorbent is good. In chemical stability, and the mechanical stability. Thank you for your answer. Thank you for your question. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other question? Okay, this is the last question. Okay, thank you. Um, what kind of, uh, what method do you use for the surface modification? Um, uh, usually, organic silica. Oh, yeah. Excuse me a moment. <clears throat> uh, let's see the hydrolysis reaction of professor and condensation reaction. If you use PRS as an only precursor to prepare a gel adsorbent, uh, we can get an adsorbent with only surface hydroxyl group. This is a very common silica material. <clears throat> if we want to get an adsorbent with anopropyl groups, we need to add another precursor with anopropyl functional groups. And we combine the two precursors for hydrolysis and then condensation together. We get a modified or composite gel adsorbent. Uh, this is my answer. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you for the talk here, for the discussion. Okay, thank you again for the last one. And for the group, this one is here. The, 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 the,